Hello, welcome to The Loft Project. My name is Michael Kauke and uh, today we're gonna to be talking about the brand new thing released by this guy. It's called Where The Light Is. This is Dan Bremness and I'm super pumped to uh, bring you this review today. Firstly, let's talk a little bit of the backstory to Dan Bremness and uh, I just wanna say straight off, he's a good friend of mine so I'm super pumped to bring you this review today. Dan is probably what uh, classes as a brilliant success Christian music story. And to see him over the last few years release EP after EP to finally be picked up by a legitimate uh, record company, Sparrow Records, uh, picked him up and re-released a whole bunch of his music. And uh, from then, he's been able to go on tours with like David Crowder, Josh Wilson, uh, a whole bunch of dudes, which has been absolutely awesome for him and to see him and to know him on a personal level I know that that would just be blowing his absolute mind. I think as an independent artist uh, releasing an EP is definitely a lot more achievable and uh, something that you can absolutely kind of reach for whereas the help of a big friend like Sparrow Records coming on saying hey we love your work uh, yeah, there's definitely a niche for, for this type of music. Uh, let's release a full album. So this right here, Where the Light Is, is his, his first full record release. So let's talk a little bit about the sound and flavor of this album, Where the Light Is. It's definitely still going along the same vibe and same feel of his previous albums. Uh, he's really got that, you know, soft rock kind of worshipful tone, uh, which I think is a smart move for Dan. And he can write them quite easily. And even though you know they might sound a little bit like the influence of Mercy Me or Josh Wilson or Jason Gray, that is the sound of Christian music uh, right now. And that is the sound that is accepted and people are loving. So why not keep writing music just like that? And it just so happens that you know he loves what he's doing. And I think for this album, it's definitely more of a personal faith journey for him. Definitely the track Where the Light Is, talks very much his personal faith journey and I'll uh, look into the lyrics of that. It's, it's, quite a, it's quite a beautiful moment. A couple of tracks on here which you want to definitely check out is uh, ones that, I mean, I, I know from Dan, he, he absolutely loved uh, In His Hands, uh, Wide Open and Born Again were probably his favorites, so check them out. I always like listening to the, the first and the last song uh, just to see where the journey starts and how it ends. And uh, I think for this album right here, it starts off powering and worship and praise and uh, a bit of a story in there as well with where the light is. But as it ends, at your feet, surrender. Beautiful, just a real beautiful, lovely, finishing, worshipful tone to end out the album. Lyrically, these songs are written really well. And uh, they're, they're, they're songs to the Father, songs of worship, and songs of praise. So uh, check it out. That is uh, Dan Bremness, Where the Light Is. If you get a little bit stuck about how to spell his name, B-R-M-N-E-S, uh, danbremness.com for more information. You can head along there and uh, check it out. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit that like button down the bottom there. Leave some comments. I want to hear your feedback, uh, how you're liking the reviews and uh, the interviews so far. If there's stuff you want me to check out, link it in down the bottom as well. All the links are down there. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me. This has been Michael Kauke. I'll see you next time on The Loft Project. Yeah.